we'll give it another try. Let's see if I can get my eyes planted over here this year or not. We'll see, I guess. Welcome back. We're at the farm and getting some flower beds ready. And then we're going to be building some boxes out of our own wood. And then we're going to be taking them to the house and we're putting some boxes at the house. So I'm really looking forward to what we're going to be doing today. And it's really nice outside and not windy like the other day. So, but um, yeah, he's uh, kind of tilted back up again for me once. Last year I did it once before, but it just did not turn out really good because it's just overgrown again. But, uh, I don't know if y'all couldn't hear me, but Tony's working over here, so it's kind of loud. So check this out. Tony put the tractor for the tiller on a cruise control. And look how fine and smooth the dirt is. And this one, he, I mean, the other side right here, he used to regular, you know, his foot to control the speed. But what kind of difference is this? So I want to have him go over my flower bit one more time to break it up a little bit more. And I think all I have to do is just get it ready for planting and I'm ready to go. But this looks awesome. What a difference. I'm getting ready to go ahead and pick some boards out from my boxes that I'm going to be using for my buff ground boxes for the house. And uh, we're going to go ahead and build them here and then bring them back to the house because it's just going to be easier that way since all the tools and everything is here. So we're here and uh, I'm going to show you along and uh, a little bit here and there. And um, I'm really excited to finally get started. I've been wanting to do this for so long and it's just been like pushed ahead and pushed away for something else and something else and things start changing and with the groceries being so high and everything so i'm really excited and i will also plant some flowers because you know flowers are good for the soul who doesn't like flowers i love flowers so here's some wood that we have cut with the sawmill a while back and this is pine i don't know if i'll be able to use all this wood for any of the boxes so i'm going to see what i got and go from there it's a shame they're just laying right here i would love to make something with those here are some more boards right here that we have cut and I might go ahead and use some of these. I think that will make great above ground boxes and I was going to use them for something else but I think I'm going to go ahead and use those for them. Use some thinner ones. Yeah, I think I'm going to be using those. So antsy, I got my fingers are itching. I want to make something so bad, and this wood just laying around, and I just don't have the time for it right now. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show y'all, we got the road done, so it turned out really nice, and it's really nice not to be able to worry about, you know, slipping down the hill here, so this is really nice, it turned out great. So, having the crush run road here makes a big difference. So we got the boards out from down by the sawmill, and these are the ones we're going to be using for my boxes, and, um, we're going to be doing that tomorrow because we kind of run out of time right now. So we had a whole bunch of stuff we got done at least today. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing this. So we're going to call it a night tonight. We didn't get a chance to build the box tonight, but we got everything ready to do. So that's a good thing. So we're going to be coming back tomorrow and plant and build the boxes and carry it back to the house. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you all next video. Bye. God bless y'all.